Welcome to Too Easy to Learn.com. Subscribe YouTube channel Too Easy to Learn.com and press bell button for new video lesson. Reflection In this lesson, we will discuss past paper questions. Dear student, in this lesson, we are going to discuss past paper, past paper questions. Uh, question number one draw the reflection of shape q shape q is given in the line x is equal to negative one this is the line of reflection first we need to draw this line of reflection x is equal to negative one this is a negative one x on the x-axis and we will draw a line x is equal to negative one after drawing this we need to mark the reflected points it's a point this point is one uh, so one two points away from the line of reflection and it will reflect it two points away from one two and uh, this is a point and uh, again one two one two this point is also marked we have to count one two three four and from the line of reflection one two three four again this point one two three four found from line of reflection one two three four and join all these point this is our reflected shape shape q reflected on this shape q dash in the line x is equal to negative 1 past paper question 2 on the grid above draw the image of shape p after reflection in the line y is equal to negative 1 this is the line of reflection first we need to draw this line of reflection y is equal to negative 1 is this point let's draw this line and uh, use a scale to draw a better line so y is equal to negative 1 is drawn now let's reflect each corner of this shape on this line so we'll count this point how many points away from this line of reflections so 1 2 3 so this point is three unit away from the line of reflection so it will reflect it on this side so let's count one two three this is a point now let's reflect this point one two three four one two three four uh, count the block of this point one two three four five six so we'll count it again from the line of reflection one two three four five six again one two three four five six one two three four five six now all four vertex of this shape has been reflected join these shapes with the scale all these reflected point to get a reflected shape by this way you will be able to draw a reflection of shape p in this line y is equal to negative 1 past paper question 3 on the grid draw the image of triangle a triangle a is drawn and given after a reflection in the line x is equal to negative 3 x is equal to negative 3 is line of reflection first we need to draw this x is equal to negative 3 this is a point x is equal to negative 3 so we have to draw this line first so this is x is equal to negative 3 now let's reflect each point each corner of this uh, shape a Students, if you observe, the line of reflection is passing through the object, is passing through shape A. So, the right points 
the points on the right side of this line will be reflected on left side and point on the left side of this line will be reflected on the right side let's count this point 1 2 so we'll count three point two points in the left side one two so this point is reflected on this point now let's count this uh, this point one two three four five six seven eight nine ten this point is 10 blocks away from the line of reflection so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it is a reflected point this uh, left point will be reflected on the right side 1 2 and 1 2 by this way we are able to reflect all these three corners on these blue points join these reflected points and get the shape now join it and uh, you will be able to get the reflected shape is better to use a scale to get good drawing past paper question 4 the diagram shows triangle A and B describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B Dear students, in this question, object which is a triangle A and its image which is a triangle B both are given. First, we need to identify either it is a reflection, rotation or translation because the size of the uh, object and image both are same. So, this is isometric transformation. Usually, students are confused with the rotation and reflection for this we have very easy test join all corresponding point with the help of a scale better to join draw a dotted line if all these lines we join the corresponding point of image and objects are parallel then it is sure that this is a reflection mark their center so this is the center of this line and this is the center of this line and it's the center of this line join all these three points and you will get the line of reflection so this is the line of reflection of triangle A and triangle B. Triangle A mapped onto triangle B under reflection on this line. So first point we have to write it is reflection. When it is identified it is reflection you have to write down the equation of line of reflection so it is no it's a diagonal line so its line its equation should be y is equal to mx plus c student is better to take a point on this line for example i take a point on this line and the coordinates of these points are 3 3 since both coordinate x and y are equal therefore equation of this straight line is y is equal to x so we'll write line of reflection equation of line of reflection y is equal to x past paper question 5 a point p 2 comma 3 is mapped on 2 point q negative 3 comma negative 2 under transformation x Part A describes single transformation X. Part B find the matrix that represent transformation X. Student, in this question, coordinates of object and coordinates of image both are given. The coordinates of object P is object and 2, 3 is 
coordinates of point P and the coordinates of image negative 3, negative 2. If we observe the both coordinate, we will see that the both coordinates are flipped. They both are swept and their sign are also changed. As we know that when both coordinates are flipped or swept as a b mapped onto negative b negative a then it is called the reflection it is called reflection and equation of line of reflection is equal to negative y is equal to negative x part b In part B, find the matrix represent transformation X. As we know that by observation, the object coordinates are flipped and their sign are also changed, then it is a flipped matrix. And flipped matrix is 0, 1, 1, 0. Since the sign of both coordinates are also changed, so we will change the sign of this matrix negative 1 negative 1 so its final answer is 0 negative 1 negative 1 0 click on link in description box for free registration you will get video lessons topical practice worksheets with solution in pdf format Model papers with solution in PDF format. Past papers with solution in PDF format. Quizzes.